Well, hi guys, I'm Celestia Shadows, and welcome to Dark Parables, Coast of Bravos. The actual first game to the Dark Parable series, if the internet's right. Because it's Briarose, Exiled Prince, Snow Queen, and then the Red Riding Hood game I played. So, Game House has the first three, Red Riding Hood and all well, the first two. I already had um, the Snow Queen. And the fifth one would be the Cinderella one. So that's five out of eleven games. There's like eleven Dark Parable games, then like three other ones on Steam. I think the Swan one, the Mermaid one, and then the Jack and the Beanstalk one, I think. If I'm right. Oh well. But time to play. Once upon a time, many years ago. On the day the princess was born, the king held a great festival and invited all but one godmother, who was strong in sorcery yet wicked at heart. Upon hearing the news, the evil godmother placed a curse on the newborn child. Later in life, the young princess came across a spindle in a dusty old room and pricked her finger. The inhabitants instantly fell under a sleeping spell, while briars burst from the ground and shrouded the castle. One day, a daring prince braved the thick vines and ventured into the castle. Upon finding the princess, he gave her a kiss, which was foretold to free the princess from her curse. Though the kiss removed the briars and awakened the inhabitants, the princess never rose from her eternal slumber. Many years have passed, and the truth behind the sleeping princess has been forgotten. What remains is the tale passed down through generations as the Sleeping Beauty. A thousand years later, she's somehow still alive. Edinburgh, Scotland. may be connected to the tale of Briar Rose. I've given you a map to an abandoned castle rumored to be her resting place. Recent evidence shows vines are growing under the castle grounds. Your investigation will be to find the source of this anomaly and to quickly stop it from spreading further. This case is of the utmost urgency. If the vine growth is not contained, it will consume our city within seven days. Good luck, detective. So we have seven days to save lives. And welcome, Detective. A sparkling location shows an area of interest relevant to your investigation. Would you like a quick tutorial? Uh, no. I should be fine. It's not that long ago since I played Red Riding Hood. And time to make a sturdy axe. And that's new, but oh well. Should be able to find all the pieces, hopefully. Just by guessing. Nope. Let's see. Piece over there. Piece there. Probably nothing. Something on the floor. A few things on the floor. Nothing over there. Something up above. Something around her waist. And just two more pizza pieces. Been playing too much turbo pizza. Apparently that's nothing over there. Just that piece. Nothing over there. Let's see, is something there? And something down there. And I found a new item. So you have an axe, but what else is over here? Anything to find? Just a door and that crow. Got some candles and a castle. This derelict castle has been empty for centuries. I wonder what dark secrets lie within. 
See a moon up there? This must be the statue of Briar Rose, otherwise known as the Sleeping Beauty. And I think that's it. Everything else is destroyed. To the door. The door is blocked by thick vines. I'll need a sharp tool to clear the vegetations. Good thing I made an axe out of stone. And it's open. Now I have access to the castle. To see a list of searchable areas useful to your investigation, click on the inspect icon. Saying two things. Like a porch and some stairs. That's it. Okay. And we have notes. With the sleuthing technique I've learned, I'm able to seek an axe by the statue and use it to clear the stubborn briars. Now that I have opened the wooden door, the derelict castle is within my reach. I must continue on my investigation search for additional clues. And there's one before that. So yeah, I'm now standing in front of the abandoned castle rumored to be the resting place of Briar Rose. I'll jot down notes on this journal as I progress through my investigation. But first, I must find a way to get past this block blocked door. And she slowly became British, but oh well. I guess we're all a little British inside. See some stairs, some butterflies, all that have all flown away. This is a statue of the queen. Something appears to be missing from its hand as well. And something up there, nothing there. Is that? Might as well look at the king. The king statue looks eerily alive. I wonder what goes on in goes on its hand. And a puzzle. There are many interactive contraptions within the castle. Explore and click everywhere to solve the puzzle. If you're stuck, a hint can help. You can also skip the puzzle, but it will lock the hint for five minutes. The more you know, place the buttons in their appropriate slots. Each gold aloe is interactive. I got a button from him. Uh, give that to you, probably. And I guess I'm just dressing them then. Probably in. Give her her tiara, him his crown, the knight his helmet, the king's his. Well, that goes to the knight, of course. The king his robes, the sword goes to you, mirror for the queen, and a staff for the king. And a gem. And I did it. And we got a door handle. Let's see, can look at the lamp. Nope. Oh. All I can do is walk up those stairs. Nothing else? I don't think so. And the stairs in our notes. Let's see what's up here. The thorns are dangerously sharp. There must be a way to stop them from reaching into the city. Probably not now, at least. And some objects to find. Something there. Something there. See a few things in the water. Nothing there, apparently. That's nothing, apparently. Is that? Nope, nothing. Gym there. Something there. Something there, too. Another thing there. Something there. And just three more objects left to find. Let's see, there should probably be a few more things in the water or something. Or in these plants. Something there. Something there. And just needs to find those horns. Right there. And the lion's beard. Sun emblem half. Only got half of it though. And let's see, that's done. I can still look at the vines, and I can go to the left. 
Well, let's look at the door. And put the sun in it. Nope. Hmm. I don't look using it here. What about the door handle? Yep. Got one piece. See owl up there? And curse objects. Removing the curse objects, morphing curse morphing objects quickly recharges your hint. The more you know. Found one of them. Probably no more in here. And to the next area. With a bench. And a pentagram. Welcome, detective. Do not be alarmed. I am Briar Rose, and I wish you no harm. The curse has returned, and a great danger looms. But I can help you to stop it before all is consumed. My body lies in repose in a castle room deep. To vanquish the curse, you must rouse me from sleep. However, an evil godmother is haunting this place. Be wary, or else she may foil your case. Follow me. And she cursed her to speak in rhymes for some reason. But I got a doll. Princess doll. Let's see, and I still need to inspect that telescope, wherever it may be. And any more notes? Nope, no more notes. Got a bench, some pillars. This rusty swing creaks eerily against the ghostly wind. And this pentagram. A strange arcane symbol is deeply etched onto the ground. Got some lights I can't look, up, look at, and that's about it in here. All I can go is forward. Something there. This is the Queen's Tombstone. You cannot stop me! <laughs> Apparently she turned into a crow. What on earth was that? The Evil Queen. Let's see. The King's Tombstone lies here. More graves over there, and what's this? Strange colored symbols etched onto the concrete plate. I wonder what happened to the king and queen. They probably died of old age. Let's see, a monkey, uh... I mean a monkey, a rabbit, and a rat, probably? Or a mouse? I don't know. This is a rusty keyhole on the gravestone. A key can be found here. So you got a flower, some bones, oh, got the key, and some more flowers. And put in the keyhole. Let's see, each slot rotates to its animal's move, to its animal above, align them to fit a particular pattern. See carrot, cat, cheese. Carrot for you. Banana for you. Yep. See, and I got some bells. Ring the bells in the correct sequence. Notice the blue bulbs above. So you first, and the rabbit. Okay, so you, you, and you. And everything opened a little bit more, and what's this? Did I get a bell? Bell tower key. Half bell, half key. And what's in her hand? I'll never know. Oh well. I think that's everything here. No cursed object or anything? I don't think so. Doesn't seem like it at least. Well. Let's see something there. But there's something there too. Let's see, I'll probably look at this first. 
statue is missing from this concrete podium. The nameplate is also missing. The nameplate on this on the stone statue reads Godmother of the Rose. Nothing else? Okay. Got another cursed object though. Let's see. Anything else? Nope. To the gate. And we got a key. And we finally made it to the telescope. But the last piece is too dirty to see anything clearly. So nothing we can see. Cross over there, some mountains. Anything cursed? Probably not. And now all of a sudden these bells are mo de most more detailed. We got some items here and there. Something up there. There. Is that really not anything? Nope, it's something. And let's see. Two more items. And a curve somewhere. Right there. And yeah. And I was right. We got the moon emblem. But we still only have half a sun. So you got the moon. Anything else? Objective hint. Achieve this object to progress to the next chapter. Clicking on this button will clarify your objective. However, your hint mirror will be disabled for three minutes. Okay. So just go back to the door. Yep, that's still too dirty. Nothing else up here. Yep, nope, nothing else. Time to go back. So there, there could be a cursed object in here somewhere and I just don't see it. That would be the floor, but yeah, probably not in here, but oh well. Could be something here though. I doubt there would be cursed rocks. Oh, probably not. And I already got the owl in here. Well, at least I opened the door. Let's see. And do chapter two. And five areas to inspect. Three of them I've already been to, then two new places. And to our notes. It is fascinating to see the spirit of Briar Rose firsthand. It's puzzling that the spirit has insights into my investigation. It seems whatever the king and queen were hiding must have been a great secret, as I have found no hard evidence of the existence of Briar Rose yet. Let's see some flags. Something over there, and there's a patch of loose dirt near the tree. Just some loose dirt. And that should be cursed. What a creepy mechanical statue. I shouldn't put my fingers too close to it. Some cloth right there, but can't do anything with it. Let's see, time to find some more pieces. If I can. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing up there. Something there, at least. Is that really nothing? Nope. Nothing at all. Some more stone. And just one more stone piece. That happens to be gray. And base of Godmother statue is done. Found a new item. 
Got her shoes. Probably need a shovel for that dirt, so onwards I go. And there's the witch again. See a well right there. A few things there. I mean, probably no cursed objects there, but what's in this tree? What an owl statue base is hidden inside this tree hole. Don't have any owls, though. Into another puzzle. Here are four interactive puzzles. Solving each one will move the horse forward. So, four puzzles in one. And... Nope. I did nothing. That did something at least. Can't click anymore, but I have a ball. Put it there. Nope. The horse is moving forward. And put it in there. Yep. Yeah. Tried. Yeah. Oh. Should be. There, there we go. Click you. Got that at least. And what to do with you? No idea. Oh well. See, there's an arrow there. Oh, wait. Is there a, like, compass needle? So somehow solved that one. And... Anything else I can pick up? Oh yeah, the gear. So, gears is probably for that then. Open you back up and move the gears. And puzzle complete. Somehow, some way. Inside the barn we go and. It's definitely cursed. See, so got some cursed gloves. Plaque is missing from the red horse sign. Plaque is missing for the blue horse sign. Let's see a rake. Pony. Peculiar horse doll is locked behind these still bars. I thought it's actually a real horse. I got turned into it all. And time to make that shovel so I can dig up some dirt. How many pieces can I find? Nope. Nothing there. That's something. A few things here and there. I feel like it has to be something up there, but oh well. Got a nail. Few things down there. Anything up above? I don't think so. But a lot of things down there. And I just need one more piece, so. Just like a block of stone. Is it next to the anvil? Is it next to the bucket? I don't think so. 
That's apparently nothing. Is it there? And apparently so. Finally got a shovel. And this is the farthest I can go. Have to turn back. I can go to the right too, but probably should dig up over here before I forget. And got a shield rose disc. And probably give the godmother her shoes before I forget about that too. Seeing stone base attaches perfectly to the pony, and there are still some pieces left before the statue is complete. What was in here? Oh, yeah, it was just the bells, but apparently there's another puzzle. I'm glad I came back. Let's see, body of Godmother statue. At least I'm getting the body. Let's see, a piece there. A lot of things here and there. Something up there, in his mouth, over there. Still have a few more pieces left to find. Is that something? Apparently so. And just one more. Has to be an elbow somewhere. But where could it be? Trying to look for anything bent, or maybe should be looking for a pipe. Because it does look kind of silver. Maybe I should look lower. Doubt it's in the mountains, but it could be. Is there really nothing else in there? I really don't see it, but... It has to be here somewhere. And I probably will just use my hint. I don't know. Apparently it was in that picture. And I never would have found that. But I got her body at least. See, and a cursed object up there too. At least I got 4 out of 20. Let's see, she has her body. Hella statue stands eerily against the dark sky. So I just need her head. Anything else I can do in here now? Nope. Hmm, no luck using it there. But there's a spider right there. Let's see. Would this go anywhere? Nope. There. The doll? Nope. No, I'll, I'll just go back then. Nothing else I can do, but there's a puzzle here. Let's see, got a nail. Nothing there. Some pipes. Probably a few more things in the water that I can't see. Has to be something over there. Some nails. And I just need a few more nails and whatever that was. Always in the water somewhere. Or on here? Nope. On the walls. In the lion's mouth. Trying to make a ladder. No one else there? Hmm. I feel like I'm really blind. Yeah, I probably won't see it anytime soon. No bow. Hint it is. Right in the corner, of course. At least I got a ladder. What I'll use that letter for, I don't know, but might be over there. Nope. 
I know I was wrong. That's the last place I need to inspect. A church some somewhere somehow. So might as well keep moving forward. But is anything I would need a ladder for in here? Maybe. Try another location. Nope. Then to the right. See, so I got a knife. Small knife. What I don't know. Ew, a dark rotten liquid is oozing out of this wooden bucket. See, so handle. I wonder what lies at the bottom of this well. Take a ladder? Nope. The brick looks like it can be removed with a proper tool. Like a knife? Nope. Try another location. Yep, I probably don't have enough ingredients yet. But anything else to look at? Nope. Over there I go. See, there's a ladder there. The ladder is not high enough for me to reach across the wall. At least now I know where I need that ladder. Got a crown rose disc. Or something. Some statues there. Any other cursed objects? Probably not. So I'll go over here. And place one of these. Nope. Nope, nothing happened. The symbol of power. I'm worn on the most powerful ruler in this land. A circular disc is missing from this engraved slot. Apparently it goes there. Nope. An untouched white rose is locked behind this panel and emits a pure floral scent. Hmm. Circle of disc is missing, missing, but I can't do that. What about this? Nope. Oh, I don't have what I need then. Should probably go here first then. Move each colored ball so it stands above its correct tile. Okay, so fire above fire, lightning gets lightning. And there we go, I guess. Nope. Let's see. Move you back over there then. I can move you, but maybe I feel like I should move you down or maybe I should move you there so then I can move you down to the left up or might work or probably not Nope. Maybe I already messed up. Cause let's see if I move you down. Move you that way. I can move you up. I can at least get you there. And, oh yeah, move you down of course. Then, maybe... Cause I have to get you to there, but... Yeah, I already messed up. Let me restart. Because I'm going to have to move you down. That's how I get you there. Move you there. Move you down. And get you down there. And... Probably messed up fire. I don't know how I got him there last time. How did I get you there last time? Oh, back over there you go. Cause... Yeah, how did I? Oh. I moved blue too soon, that's probably why. 
keep blue there. Fire down. And there we go. Got you that time. And complete. Well, that door's open and just the church, so might as well inspect it. See a lamp there, some windows there. Can examine the bench or I can go forward. This goblet is identical to the one painted on the window above. The window shows three figures, each holding a different goblet. I have all three of them. The door is locked. The goblet is missing here. And one there too. And nothing on the floor. Yep, nope, nothing else, but nothing. And to the bench. And find a bunch of gems to make the king's scepter. Let's see, books, gems. Something down there. Nothing there. Look there. Table there for some reason. Anything else? Don't really see anything else. Let's see. I need that and I need that. Something there. And just that. Look for gold. And I should be fine. Hopefully. Nothing under the chair. Checking all the benches. Checking against all the windows. Could it be over there somewhere? No, but I don't think so. I feel like it should be here somewhere then. Is that it? Apparently it is. And a piece of gold missing too. Right there. Got the scepter. Let's see. And have to go back outside, of course. No new notes, since I'm still in chapter one. And nothing else here. Nope, nothing else here. Might as well finally put down that ladder. Or attach it. Into chapter 3. Let's see, we've got some more notes, and to entry number 3. As I investigated the abandoned chapel, I noticed that Briar Rose's portrait was missing from the colored windows. The princess had passed away. Her depiction should have been included as well. As a form of remembrance. Perhaps the spirit was right. Her sleeping body is actually hidden somewhere in this large castle. Maybe she is. And I don't know why I clicked that. Let's see, I need to go back to the stables, the entrance, and investigate up here, but and go over there too. But I think I'll stop here for now. Anyways guys, I'm Celestia Shadows and thank you for watching, but bye for now.